The developers just doubled our stash size from 10 to 20 slots. And I'm not gonna lie, I see some of you out there putting the most ridiculous things in your own stash. But what should we have in our stash slots? Let's think about every item in Modern Warfare 3 and come up with a basic strategy. Let's start things off with perk cans and ammo mods. I know Deadshot's really powerful, I do personally love Death Perception myself, but you should not have any perks or any ammo mods in your stash. You can get every single perk in game with points, and if you have a container level above level 12, you're going to get 30% off perk machines. So even if you need to buy a certain perk every game, it's well worth the stash space slot. Same goes for ammo mods. First and foremost, I don't think ammo mods are all that game changing in terms of whichever one you have on your weapon. All of them do a pretty decent job at helping you kill zombies. And if you want one in particular, ether nests and infested strongholds are an excellent source of ammo mods. They are super abundant, and like I said, there's definitely better things we can keep in our stash. Like maybe pack-a-punch crystals? Actually, no. This one might be a little controversial. I do not keep Pack-a-Punch crystals in my stash. Once again, this is because you can upgrade your weapon. You can Pack-a-Punch your weapons in-game. Now, in the past, I might have carried a triple Pack-a-Punch crystal. You might want to have a double or triple Pack-a-Punch crystal if you're still filling up your stash, but ultimately, those are the first things that I get rid of. There's a similar logic to perks here with the containment level system. If you have your containment level high enough, you're going to start with 5,000 essence. You're going to get 20% off the Pack-a-Punch cost, and I made a whole dedicated video showing Showing you how fast you can get a triple pack of punched weapon starting with a completely unupgraded weapon. Spoiler alert, it took no time at all. Moving on to ether tools, and this is where we finally get our absolute yes, you're going to want to have at least some legendary ether tools in your stack. And as you're progressing through the power crawl of Modern Warfare Zombies, having purple or epic ether tools are definitely acceptable before you switch them all out for legendary. And unless you're just starting out, I would not have any green or blue ether tools. It's just a waste. They are so prevalent within the game, it's not worth having. Next up, we have sigils. This is something that we do not have schematics to. We have to find them in game. Should we save these sigils? For me, in terms of normal sigils, absolutely not. But I do save elder sigils. Regular sigils, from my experience, are frequent enough in tier 3. If you're running tier 3 contracts, they are frequent enough that you can have them whenever you want to go to the Dark Aether. As of now, I have yet to play a game where I wanted to go to the Dark ether and didn't get a sigil from tier 3. There have been a few close calls, but I've always gotten a sigil. And you might think, Donuts, why would you have elder sigils if I have all of the schematics? Well, every season they tend to add in a new dark ether, and instead of just grinding that new dark ether for elder sigils, you just have them in your stack. Moving on to wonder weapons. This is going to be heavily personal preference. Wonder weapons are again random. We have to find them within the map. We do have schematics for them, but I personally don't keep any ray guns or or Wonder Waffs extra in my stash. I could see an argument of holding a VR-11 and a Scorcher case in your stash because of how useful those things are for grinding the endgame items. Speaking of endgame items, the classified items are going to take up most of our stash space. Having an extra Aether Blade is very useful. Having extra Golden Armor Plates, even a Dog Bones useful from Season 1. Season 2, I absolutely love the Mags of Holding, and from Season 3, I think Deadwire Detonators has earned its spot in our stash. Now, classified items I don't think you should be holding on to. Well, obviously, I think that's the blood burner key. I think the golden mask is kind of useless, as well as the sergeant's beret. But the sergeant's beret and the dog bone are pretty interchangeable, so that is really whatever you prefer. Think about your stash as whatever you would like to use for multiple times within any given day or two day period. Do you really need a golden mask filter twice in a single day? Probably not. Would you like to use mags of holding more than one time a day? Probably, absolutely. Now, with all of these different options, I'm going to run you through how I am going to identify ideally build my own personal stash. I'm aiming for 5 legendary ether tools, 3 golden armors, 3 mags of holding, 2 elder sigils, 2 dead wire detonators, 1 ether blade, 1 dog bone, 1 vr11, 1 scorcher, and 1 miscellaneous item. Now this is just my opinion, I'm just some random guy on the internet, but I walked you through all of my logic, so what do you think? What do you have in your stash? And if you still don't believe in the power of the brand new Deadwire Detonators, well, be sure to check out this video. It's absolutely crazy what we find. Check it out there and stay beautiful.